back to JavaScript Evangelist. In this video, we are going to learn more about uh, creating a simple service. We'll also uh, touch a little bit about observables in uh, Angular 2. Uh, so service. So what is a service? Service is just a class, but service as a service, uh, they are treated specially in Angular. So what I mean by that? So to create a service, uh, there are two important aspects. Add injectable decorator and you have to also specify the service under the providers. Welcome to that. So first of all, what is adding at injectable decorator? So it simply uh, really means that you can inject other services into the constructor of your service. So let's say I have to use uh, an SCDP service or maybe I have to use another service, something like Angular Firebase database service or maybe another custom service which I have created so if I have to inject that into the constructor of my service, I have to add this injectable decorator. Yeah, that's all. So, but if I have to make my service to be able to inject into another services, or maybe um, in our case, uh, post container component, let's say I have to inject a service over here um, called post service. I'll just uh, make this as uh, private and I'll just call it as uh, post service okay and I'm going to inject the post service over here now this post service I can inject it into the constructor of post container only when I make the post service available under the module providers so I have already added the post service under the providers of my module. That's why I'm able to inject the post service into other services as well as another components. Okay, so let's just go back to our service uh, and I'm going to uh, make an HTTP call with our post service. I'm going to use a JSON uh, placeholder. So if I just visit this URL, um, so let's say if I just say slash post, it returns me a JSON data. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, do that. So to make an HTTP call, uh, I have to inject over here something called HTTP service. So I'm going to use it as HTTP underscore HTTP, and HTTP service is available to me from Angular. Okay, so it's available to you under the package. All right. So one more important uh, thing about HTTP. Uh, HTTP is again a service so if you look at the module it's been injected over here under the imports as HTTP module that's why it is available to us uh, inside our constructor okay so a service uh, also must have a public API so we have to have a uh, public method I'm going to say get post get post will return me some data but what kind of data I can specify it over here under the types this is available to me via TypeScript so I am specifying that I need an observable the data which I am returning should be an observable and it should be a type of something so in this case I am going to say any so the response will be of type any but it will be an observable yeah it's a little bit hard to digest but it, like, just follow with me Okay, so this observable is available to us by RxJS observables. Okay, so I'm going to return an observable. So to do that, I have to use the return statement. Uh, I'm going to return an HTTP get call. This dot underscore HTTP dot get, and I'm going to specify the URL. Uh, I'm going to specify a private variable over here called uh, root URL. To be this one okay and I'm just going to call it over here so so earlier you used to uh, say something like this right uh, this dot root URL plus slash post but rather than doing all this we can simply use uh, template uh, syntax so I can do something like this this dot root url slash post all right now when i 
do this I'll get an observable but uh, I need to convert that to a proper JSON response to do that I have to use a map operator so map operator is available to me from RxJS so I need to inject that under my main.ts file uh, you can inject it over here as well it is fine but I would advise you to inject it under your main.ts file so that it's available to your entire application okay so the path for map is this you have to import rxs add operator map so now if I go back to my post service the map operator should be available to me okay now I have to so my TypeScript is yelling at me that uh, argument must match okay, we'll just do that response dot json so now i'm converting the response to a json readable format uh, for us by the way we can do one more thing over here uh, if you don't want to use observable you can convert this observable to promise but again to promise method or operator is available to us from rxjs so we have to go to our main ts file and have to add a method over here called to promise so which helps us to convert a observable into a promise so with this uh, um, so now my typescript is yelling at me that this should return a observable not a promise so i can remove this temporarily now the error should vanish so to use this uh, what i have to do is uh, let's say i call this post service into uh, another component and I do something like this now I can use the dot then operator so as normal promises uh, we do like this we use dot then but I'm not going to use uh, promises I'm going to use promise I'm going to use observables only so yeah uh, I'm just going to map uh, our observable to JSON response.json so that it will be readable for us all right so i'm going to put this back again it should be a type of observable and type of any all right uh, let's just use this get post method uh, into our component so i'm going to go to post container component and i have already injected post service over here under the constructor so just take it to the next line so under the ng init i'm going to say this dot post service dot get post uh, but as I mentioned you before uh, post service is an observable um, so the difference the simplest difference between an observable and a promise is uh, then dot then becomes dot subscribe all right so we can do something like this over here uh, I'll receive a success and we can just do a simple console dot log success all right just check it out uh, i'm just going to run my uh, server i just disconnect this with uh, control c and clear the log ng serve it should uh, run my server hmm. compilation successful let's refresh and it should do the console log okay uh, we have an error <laughs> okay all right so let's just see why we are facing this error all right uh, i'll just refresh again okay it's something wrong with our url uh, i'll just go back to our post service mm. okay so okay that was a really silly mistake as you can see i just uh, forgot to use the assignment operator and i think this should work and now uh, we are getting the data so that's all uh, with the service uh, we can use this uh, observable in a correct way uh, what I mean by that is so basically uh, you could do something like this so let's say um, this is an observable instead of uh, subscribing to it uh, like this we can do um, so this is an loopable data right so this is like a lot of data uh, let's say we can do something like this uh, let's say posts okay and post uh, is going to be used over here so i'll call it like this this dot 
post equals to get post. In this case, I don't have to subscribe. Also, uh, since uh, this is an observable, it's, it would be a nice idea to use a dollar at the end so that we are telling our code that this is going to be an observable. Now, to use this post inside our HTML over here, uh, I'll just copy this, open this file, and uh, mm, for now, let's just uh, do a loop over here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to say uh, ng repeat over here. <laughs> I'm so sorry, not ng repeat, ng4 with the new Angular syntax. I have to say let uh, single post uh, in posts. Okay. And, no, oh, sorry. Single post of posts. And let's see if it works. Uh, it won't work, I know, but uh, just to tell you, let's just see if it's working. Okay, as you know, this is a observable. That means uh, something like uh, our code will run before uh, we receive the data. Let's see if it's working. Okay, it's not working. So we are receiving something like this. So we have to tell our um, our post that this is an observable. So I'll just re rephrase my uh, code again. So <coughs> we have created an internal uh, variable called post dollar. This dot post is using a method over here called get post, which is returning me an observable, but we haven't done the dot subscribe. But Angular 2 provides us a neat solution for this. So we are doing post over here we can use something called a sync. So we are telling uh, Angular that this is an observable and as you receive it, display it over here properly. Okay, let's just refresh and check it out. All right, we are getting the data. So uh, I think this data has uh, certain objects. So let's see what we are getting. So we have body and title. So let's just do post dot title. And if you look at it over here again, everything is working fine. So that's all with services and a little bit about observables. In the next video, uh, we'll know more about uh, how the data flow, communication patterns in Angular, and also we'll learn more about reactive programming. So see you in the next video. Thank you. And make sure to like and subscribe to my channel.